Assalamualaikum and welcome to another episode of Zilfit TV. My name is Azmir and welcome to Project Zilfit 3.0. Although today is a bit different because um, there's nothing that I want to update you guys about the renovation of this new space. Uh, but we actually received our first Eleco uh, shipment in the new warehouse. And what a way to mark the occasion uh, because the crates were badly damaged uh, to say the least. But Alhamdulillah, uh, I've not checked every single item. I've not checked whether or not anything is missing. So I'm going to do that right after this. But let me just show you uh, how... Well, actually, I cannot show you how it came in because we had to unpack from the truck itself. Um, the, the crate was broken on both ends. And uh, some of the... Because there was another crate on top of, of the one that, that's broken. So it kind of crushed some of the stuff um, inside the broken crate and um, thank god there's a lot of like you know all these accessories and gears so the boxes are a bit crushed but i'm not too sure whether anything is torn or broken or things like that um, but that's something that i have to um, check once once i uh, unload everything once i open up everything so let me just show you uh, what came what came in so those pieces which are not in pallets, those are the ones that we had to carry out from the broken crate, so including all of this stuff. And uh, man, things like this um, and this. So basically the, the parts are in there, but I've not opened them to see whether they are scratched or damaged or dented. See there? Uh, let me just, just show you some of the boxes. So it's flattened out. Uh, I don't think anything is damaged, but not a pleasant way to commemorate the first shipment to this new warehouse. Um, obviously, if anything is damaged, it's something that I can claim from Eleco, but if it's not damaged, you know, uh, sometimes I'll just give a discount on the items or, uh, you know, just, you know, just forget about it. Um, uh, that's how I am. But if it's badly damaged and if it's something that I cannot sell, then most likely I'll just put a claim in. But that's the story for, for this particular episode. I'm a bit worried. I have to rush off to uh, Friday prayers right now. And once I get back, then I'll have uh, a chance to look um, into all these uh, items and hopefully, 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 I hope nothing is damaged. That's my hope because there's a, there are a lot of uh, customers equipment in, in this shipment that I need to deliver um, those who have been waiting for, I think, a couple of months already. <sighs> okay, so I'll see you guys back yeah, after Friday prayers. Okay, uh, so I encountered my first problem here. Um, today, as you can see behind me, um, those are all that came uh, in the shipment, in the delivery. So they are all together eight packages. And uh, the thing that I noticed, the problem that I noticed is that this is, if I can zoom up, takes half of the warehouse space already. Now what does that mean? That means that I have to unload piece by piece and then arrange them somewhere and then the, and then rearrange the, rearranging them back again according to the customer's order so that's a lot of uh, work and uh, especially if, let me just show you things like this this is actually the prestera uprights and then we've got the uh, barbells and this is like um, what do you call this the rubber mats so they need, they all need uh, like um, a pallet so I can put on, put on, put them on a pallet, and then I can make sure I can, you know, store it on uh, on the storage rack. So that would clear the space. Now I don't have enough pallets. In order to get to one of those pallets, I need to take out some. Of, I need to take out those items first, and I need to put them somewhere, right? Then I have to put all this loose items on the pallets so I can move them around or else there's no space for the forklift for the rich truck 
So it's tricky, uh, it's a lot of work, especially because I'm essentially doing this all by myself. Um, so I need to figure out the best way to do this. And I'm still thinking. I think that's it for today. I'm very tired. It's already 4.30 in the afternoon and uh, it's a Friday. So that means I'm expecting uh, probably at least a one hour drive back home. And hopefully I, I have enough time to reach home to break my, uh, my fast. I'm very, very tired, but I've got some things done. Not everything. I still have to come back tomorrow uh, to finish up the, the cleaning up. There you go. So there's a lot of work. Tomorrow, the guys who are going to replace the windows on the first floor will come and install the windows. Also, the guy who is building the loading bay is also going to come and measure the, um, the back, back the, the loading bay. And then um, I think, yeah, the CCTV guys are going to come back again and uh, continue their job. Okay, so um, that's it for today. I'm going to see you again tomorrow, inshallah. Assalamualaikum. Today is the 28th of Ramadan, or I think it's 30th of April, and uh, I'm here on a Saturday to finish up all the unpacking of the shipment that came yesterday, as well as um, uh, just to allow the contractors to come and finish their respective uh, jobs. So the CCTV guys are going to come today and then the window guys who's going to fix the new window upstairs and then the guy who's going to build the loading bay inshallah so i'm here on the mezzanine floor the office floor and just want to show you the lighting that has been done so let me just turn the camera around as i mentioned this is the lounge area right there will be some couch where i'll be falling asleep most of the time and over here, the lights for under, uh, above my working station, workstation. So there's going to be a, a long table right there, which can sit probably six, six people technically. I'm not too sure whether these lights are able to be switched on. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, nice. But not all, the, all of them are turned on. So, only one of these and those lights. Looks cool though. What do you guys think? Just to give you guys a quick view of the warehouse from the mezzanine floor. Today, now it's actually about 9.30, so I'm gonna get ahead of the day and to see whether or not I can complete this before noon, inshallah. I have somebody who says he's gonna come and help me out. Um, I hope that he comes because it is a Saturday morning and we've, we've we only have about probably three more days to eat. So a lot of people are, you know, in the joyous mood and relaxed mood that, you know, the, uh, that Ramadan is, is coming to an end. But, you know, my work uh, goes on and I just want to complete uh, as many things as possible so that after Raya, after Eid, we can, um, you know, do the final preparations before we open up this place. Okay, Alhamdulillah, I'm pretty much done in the warehouse. Uh, I've got everything sorted out. 90% uh, I still have this particular XF bumpers here. Um, I'm running out of, of, of pallets so I need, to f I need to find another one so that I can separate the XF bumpers and then stack it on the um, storage area uh, on the racks. But uh, otherwise uh, things like all the accessories I'm gonna have to leave them loose at the moment like that um, because once everything is cleared and done I'm thinking of getting some boxes to just um, you know put them inside those boxes and then you know start you know printing labels so that we know which box con contains which uh, products um, I think so so Alhamdulillah 
I actually want to say thank you to Ashraf who helped me today with uh, all this unpacking and rearranging all the equipment. Uh, without him, I think I'm going to be uh, twice as tired. Uh, I'm, I'm, I am tired right now. Uh, again, there's no more saliva in my mouth. It's uh, almost 3 o'clock and I'm waiting for the CCTV guys and also the window guys to complete their work. Um, just let me show you. Uh, you can see from down here they've started work on dismantling the current window panes. Oops. So. I don't know whether you can see it, but they're up there. So basically, basically, they're taking out the window panes and then uh, replace it with a new one. Uh, the new one will have a sliding window, so it can open up up to, I think about 10 feet. So based on that width of uh, opening, uh, we will use the crane and, you know, uh, lift up anything from, from down here all the way to the first floor. Okay, so, but before we do that, we need to also uh, make sure that we build the, the base for the crane so that the crane will not topple over once we carry all these heavy items. Uh, so I hope that's, I think that's going to be done after Raya uh, because today is already Saturday and nobody's going to work on Monday. <laughs> Uh, although I'll still be here anyway, um, but yeah, so that's probably going to happen uh, right after I am. So right now, I'm just going to do my Zohar prayers and then uh, just uh, cool down for a bit uh, and then go home. The old window panes have been taken out. That is the frame. I am not too sure where to put it. That's big. And this is the new window panes. So this is a sliding window pane, and that's how. Well, let me just show you. This is how we're gonna we're gonna slide the windows to the left and to the right. And then we have that 10 feet of space where we can use this crane to go out and then pick the stuff from downstairs. And that's how we're gonna do it. Okay, so Alhamdulillah, they managed to finish the windows uh, before 5 o'clock. So, let me show you how this works. So, we can then pull this window all the way to the right. And then, similarly on this side. Ta-da! So, we've got this sole width. This particular crane on the floor will be somewhere right here. And then the crane goes out like this. And then we pick up all the stuff from the ground floor and into the first floor. And Alhamdulillah, I can't wait for the base to be built. Then we can just mount the uh, crane on. Okay, all right. So I'm out of here. Again, bye.